The Armata is a new Russian heavy infantry fighting vehicle, IFV. It is also referred as the T-15. Its development commenced in 2011. This heavy IFV was developed as a part of armored vehicle family. It is based on the same platform as the Armata main battle tank. First mock-up or prototype was completed in 2013. During the same year it was revealed to Russian military officials. This heavy IFV was first publicly revealed in 2015. A first batch of 12 pre-production vehicles was delivered in 2015. These were specially built for the 2015 Victory Day Parade. These armored vehicles were fitted with unmanned 30mm turrets of Kurganets, 25 IFV. After the parade vehicles returned to the manufacturer for improvements and further testing. In 2018 an improved variant of the Armata Heavy IFV was publicly revealed. It was fitted with unmanned 57mm turret. It packs a much heavier punch than the earlier variant with a 30mm turret. It could be the ultimate variant of the Armata IFV. So far it is one of the most heavily armed and protected IFV. During the same year Russian mod ordered a first batch of these heavy IFVs. Even though exact order numbers and configuration were not disclosed. It is estimated that the contract could be for around 60 vehicles. It was announced that the Armata IFV with the 57mm turret will be displayed in 2020 on a victory day parade. Recently there were a number of setbacks related to development and funding problems. It is unclear when this IFV could reach operational service. It seems that this heavy IFV is intended only for specialist combat teams. Recently another Kurganets, 25 new generation infantry fighting vehicle was developed for the Russian army, and is planned to be used as a standard infantry carrier. The Armata heavy IFV is way better protected than the current BMP-2 and BMP-3 IFVs, used by the Russian army. Recent conflict revealed that older IFVs, such as BMP-1 and BMP-2 are very vulnerable to pretty much all anti-tank weapons. Today these vehicles are not that efficient on the battlefield. It seems that Armata Heavy IFV has similar level of protection as the Armata main battle tank. Though exact technical specifications of this heavy IFV remain classified. This could be one of the most protected, if not the most protected, IFVs in the world. It seems that in terms of protection it is superior to most heavy armored personnel carrier and heavily armored vehicles, such as German Puma IFV. The T-15 Armata Heavy IFV has an unusual layout with a front-mounted engine. Interestingly the Armata tank has a rear power pack arrangement. It became an issue for designers in order to make a troop compartment in the rear part of the vehicle. So the Heavy IFV has a swapped front end with the rear. It is driving backwards comparing with the original Armata main battle tank. Such solution has already been used on some main battle tank conversions to heavy armored personnel carriers. In order to protect a weaker armor of the engine compartment, a distinctive arrow-shaped armor was added to the front part of the vehicle. It has a newly developed base armor. It is made of steel, ceramics and other composite materials. Also it has Malekit add-on explosive reactive armor, that is claimed to be of new generation. A front-mounted engine provides additional protection for the crew and passengers. As usual this armored vehicle is fitted with NBC protection and automatic fire suppression systems. It has been reported that it will be fitted with new Afghanit active protection system. It also has a new countermeasures system that reduces the chance of being hit by enemy anti-tank guided missiles with semi-automatic guidance. Due to its superior armor protection the Armata Heavy IFV can carry infantry into battle and provide direct fire support on modern battlefield. It can be deployed on the battlefield alongside Armata tanks, not behind them. Recent conflicts revealed that in-combat IFVs are usually kept in a safe distance from enemy, due to their vulnerability to anti-tank weapons. This particular IFV uses an unmanned turret, armed with a fully stabilized 57mm automatic cannon. It was originally designed as anti-anti-aircraft weapon. It was adopted back in the 1950 and was widely used by the Soviets and exported all around the world. This cannon has a range of around 4000 m and fires various types of ammunition, including high explosive and armor piercing rounds. Special guided ammunition is being developed for this weapon. This 57mm gun can defeat most armored vehicles, except tanks. 
At a range of 1.5 km it penetrates 100 to 120 mm of steel armor. It can also target helicopters and UAVs. A total of 80 rounds are carried for the main gun. For heavily armored targets there are two Atakati anti-tank guided missile launchers. These missiles have a range of up to 4 to 5 km and penetrate around 800 to 950 mm of steel armor behind explosive reactive armor, depending on the missile. This is sufficient to defeat even the most protected main battle tanks. It can also use missiles with thermobaric warheads. These are extremely effective against bunkers, buildings and field fortifications. There is a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun with 1,000 rounds of ammunition. This armored vehicle is operated by a crew 3 men, including commander, gunner and driver. Crew members are located in the center of the vehicle, behind the front engine compartment. Troop compartment is located at the rear. It is unknown how many passengers this vehicle can carry. It is likely that this heavy IFV accommodates 6 to 7 dismounts. Troops egress and dismount via rear power-operated doors. Initially it has been reported that this armored vehicle is powered by an A82-2 turbocharged diesel engine, developing 1200 horsepower. It is a new generation engine that is much more compact than previous Russian tank engines. However in 2019 information emerged that this heavy IFV is fitted with a more powerful engine, developing one 500 horsepower engine is located at the front and provides additional protection. Vehicle has seven road wheels. This heavy IFV has a built-in self-entrenchment blade and can briefly prepare itself a firing position.